Welcome to the very first episode of Awesome Town this evening. I, of course, am the hostess with the mostest, Mr. Andre Swanky. <laughs> hostess with the mostest. This show's gonna be wild. Why? Because we're coming to you straight from the set of Conan 3, The Barbarian, Rise of Crumb. I'm excited. You know why? Because our very first guest of the show, very special, Mr. Big Strong, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Damn it, Swanky, I told you to stop calling me Mr. Big Strong. <laughs> so sorry, Mr. S. I'm, I'm sure it must be nice for you to get out of that uh, business suit of yours and back into your acting slippers, you know what I mean? Relax a little bit. It is nice to finally relax. As a matter of fact, I'm wearing my favorite Hugh Jackman t-shirt this evening. <laughs> well, isn't that pretty cool? It is, yes. I understand you're a bit of a hurry, so let's get right into the Q&A. Right into the soup, as they say. He's so funny. Thank you. Now, see, I see you're growing that uh, hair out of those lovely locks. Yes, for this new feature, probably? No, it's not for the movie. It's actually just a personal triumph. It works. Total hypnosis. I'll tell you what, this is really is a big old treat for me because I'm such a big film buff myself. It's fantastic. Actually, you know, brings me to my next question. I've always wondered in um, Rocky IV, did your character ever feel any remorse for killing Paul Creed? Uh, I'm sorry, you're, that must be incorrect. No, 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 that's correct. No, I'm afraid it's not correct. No, no, see, I remember that movie. I remember the posters more than anything. It was, uh, it was just your face with the red eye glowing, and at the bottom it just said, uh, your most famous catchphrase of all, the I must break you. And then, then at the end of the movie, Sylvester Stallone was dipping you down that lava, and you were like, I'll be back, because the only reason you were even boxing in the first place was to get close to Rocky's mom, Sarah Connor who leads the revolt against the robots in, in the future. I'm, I'm afraid you have those two movies mixed up. That was Mr. Dolph Lundgren, that was not me at all. <laughs> no, Dolph Lundgren was not the Terminator. I'm not saying he was the Terminator, I'm saying he was a Rocky. Well, Dolph Lundgren never played Rocky No, either. Dolph Lundgren played the Russian in Rocky IV. Now see, Russia, uh, I think I have written down here. Uh, yeah, now see right here, it says you're from Austin. You're not listening, Swanky. When they were filming Rocky, I was filming the Predator movie, one of my finest achievements. No, Predator, that's Danny Glover. You're probably confusing yourself with Gary Busey. No, as a matter of fact, you're confusing me with Gary Busey from Predator 2. You think it's Gary Busey because he used the same freeze guns that I used in the Batman and Robin movie. No, see, Bat I'm a big Batman buff and you have never been the Cape Crusader, sir. Swanky! You are being insubordinate! Alright, keep cool, hot shot. I don't want you to unleash that robot strength on me. Desire is irrelevant. Now see, just so I'm clear, are you saying you're you robot? No! I am not a robot! I'm the California governor, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Well, I'm sorry, sir. I'm gonna cooperate from here on out and only ask relevant questions of your career. Fantastic. Alright, interview back home. <laughs> Alright. Now see, as California governor, do you find it hard to make the benefiting decisions for the people of your state, even though you are not one of them? What, what do you mean, because I wasn't born here in the States? Oh, no, because you're a robot, and... I mean, what interest would a robot have in mankind besides, I mean... What? So the complete decimation of mankind... Wait, excuse me? I SAID I AM NOT A ROBOT! Continue <laughs> with the interview, please. Okay, well, continue on. See, so you're getting a little flustered? I'm getting right a little. I'm getting very flustered. Okay, what's well, the next question? As governor, I'm sure you're accustomed to constant scrutiny in the press. I mean, you're basically a celebrity making all kinds of crazy important decisions in our everyday lives. So what I want to know is, how do you respond to the allegations that robots hate peekaboo? First, I'd like to say that I'm not a robot, and I, I very much hate peekaboo, yes. So, I mean, if I, if I were to take these note cards right here, and just place them over my eyes, I mean, that wouldn't bother you? Of course not, that's ridiculous. I mean, well, from what I understand, there's a block between my eyes and your eyes, and your retinal scanners can't lock on and disguise me as from human, non-human, robot, you know, dog. What makes you think that even if I was a robot, I'd be using some 
out of date human technology like better prototype scanners or something. <laughs> you are some sort of fool. But seriously, Sonicky, don't hide your eyes. I hate peekaboo. Because you're a robot? No! Because I'm not a child or some sort of rubber baby bunky bumper. I'm California governor Arnold Schwarzenegger. Don't you do it! Don't do it. Ah! Glover. Lucy. Stallone. Swanky! I must terminate this interview!